Welcome to Webinar Wednesdays. My name is Stuart and I'm a database administrator with Profit Business Group. Today we're going to learn how to use Smart Connect to build a map and to integrate data from one location to another. This demo is geared towards the users of GP, developers, and DBAs. Today's objective will include an overview of what Smart Connect maps do and their basic components. In our example, I will show you how to build a map to bring journal entries in Excel over to Microsoft Dynamics GP. What is Smart Connect? Smart Connect is software that allows us to integrate data from one source to another destination. It excels at integrating data into GP, but you don't have to limit yourself to that. What is a source? A source is where our data is coming from. This can be a database management system like SQL Server, an ERP system like GP or Business Central, or a third-party API where you get data from a web service or from a flat file like a CSV or an Excel. We will use journal entries in an Excel file today. What is the destination? Destination is very similar. This will define where we want the data to end up. Our journal entries will end up in GP today. I'll now switch to our demo and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start up Smart Connect. going, I'm going to show you my source file. In this case, it's an Excel file called Journal Entries Templates. And as you can see, it has a couple documents in here, one and two, journal entry, date, account, debit, credit, and reference. First day, I'm buying some computer PC parts. And second day, I'm buying the team some pizza for fixing my PC. Open GP. And here we're going to look at the transactions just to show that there's nothing in there. So I will go to Finance and Transaction Financial General. And you'll see I'm at 3483. And that should be our next entry. I'll just minimize that for now. And as you can see, I've already started one. But I'm just going to recreate this right from scratch. So you're going to start off with the Create button here. And this name here, the map ID, has to be unique. And then you just give it a good description. everyone knows what's going on. Now the first thing you're going to choose is the source. This is where everything's coming from. That was the Excel file. So you'll choose bulk data load. And as you saw before, like I mentioned, there's Business Central, there's GP, Excel, other databases, REST API, but I said we're going to use Excel. So we'll choose that. And now we'll click open for the workbook and we'll choose our workbook. Now I choose the sheet. That was the first sheet. And you can click validate and it shows the connections available there. You can also click preview and you can see the data that we had from Excel earlier. Now you're going to have to identify each document here. There's document 1, document 2. So what we do, we choose the journal entry. And that 
that is all you do for the source. You see the journal entry was there. Now we're going to do the destination. Like before, we had all the other options. We had Business Central, GP, Next API. But we said we're going to go to uh, GP this time. So we just choose GP. Now everything's broken up into groups and nodes here. And you have a lot of options. You can choose to send stuff to inventory, payroll, purchase orders. We said we're going to do journal entries. So we're just going to choose general ledger. And under node type, we're going to look for transactions. Next thing you're going to choose is the company. Now we have our Fabricant one here. You can have other ones in here. You can have a test company set up, or you can send this integration to multiple databases. That's all right, but we're just going to use Fabricam right now. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the header of the uh, journal entry. So we go to Create Journal. Now, we have the batch number. These, all these red ones here are required fields. So we're going to start off with the batch number. I know the batch number already, so I'm just going to choose the local constant here. This just allows me to enter in whatever I want. I'm going to call that GL batch. Now for journal entry, we don't want to send the one or the two. We want to use the GP number. So in order to do that, we're going to get Smart Connect to find out what the next GP number is. So we're going to go with additional columns, and under here, under columns, we're going to choose GP rolling column. Now we're just going to name this something, uh, journal entry rolling in this case. Let's use all uppercase. And under series, this will be under the financial one. And you'll have to choose the company again, so that'll be Fabricam. And under the doc document type, there's the journal number that we want. And you press OK. And now we have an additional column that we can use. And you see all these columns here. We're going to press OK, and all of a sudden that appears there. So now we can choose. If we want, we can go to GP rolling column, and there it is. On the other hand, we can also just drag and drop it. Either way, it'll change it for us there. And then the rest of the information we need is a reference. So drag that one over. And the transaction date. There you go. Now transaction type, this is the list option one. So when you click over here, it'll give you reversing and regular. So in this case, we're gonna choose regular. Now one thing you can do is you can preview your data here still. Now you can see this kind of groups them together. That's all right, that's what we want for this one here. We're just gonna reinforce this. We're gonna click group data up here and then we're going to group on. See, that doesn't really change anything there. This is just the header, so we only want one header going through for document one and then one for document two. So that's all we should need there. Click OK. And now we want to do the detail of the transaction. So we're going to go to Add Distribution. Now, once again, we have the batch number. Like before, we're going to click local constant. We're going to go to GL batch. Now, journal entry number, we still have that from before, so we can just drag that over. And now we want credit and debit amount, so we still have that in the file. Now, the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to put the account number through. 